We're dining at the brand new Kiki's Breakfast Cafe right outside Walt Disney World. Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies. And a very Merry Christmas to those who celebrate, because this is the video that we are releasing on Christmas. Since Christmas is on a Monday this year, right? It is. Yeah, we'll happy do holidays. It. To those right now, it's the day before Christmas Eve. Yes. I had to think about that. Yeah, so we're filming this on the day before Christmas Eve, a Saturday, and we are at Kiki's Breakfast Cafe. So this is a Florida based establishment. About a year ago, it was actually purchased out by Denny's, right? Yes, and it was started by two brothers named Keith and Kevin, and they combined their names to make Kiki's. But when they first opened, they were actually called the Florida Waffle Shop. And for four years, like they weren't doing that well, and they couldn't trademark the name because it sounds like another popular waffle establishment. Waffle House? The and Waffle House, <laughs> yes. So they were like, we need to come up with a better name. So now they rebranded as Kiki's and they've been doing great. And they actually, they're gonna be locations in Tennessee and California soon. So maybe they'll be But right be now one they're only in Florida, Yeah, right? maybe yeah. there will be one opening near you someday. Yes, and I'm happy Denny's purchased it. I guess Denny's already ha has breakfast on lock. Like we need more breakfast, but this is a bit of a el more elevated breakfast. And this new location is right outside Walt Disney World, right on 192, which was kind of like the I-4 of its day. Uh, if you guys saw our um, Portillo's, hot dog video this is right in the same shopping center as that Portillo's there's a Margaritaville resort literally across the street so if you were staying at the Margaritaville you could literally cross the street to be able to eat here and I also think that the breakfast here is a bit more elevated than a lot of the options on property at Walt Disney World um, you do have you know obviously the Riviera Topolino's Terrace amazing breakfast over there but the majority of Disney breakfast is usually buffets stuff you can get by a quick service uh, or stuff in the parks this is a great out-of-park option it's actually right near Animal kingdom right yes and they are open at seven in the morning so yeah. before the park day starts you can you know, hit up kiki's and they are, are open i think till like 2 30 because they also do serve lunch oh. uh, but the breakfast is served all day well i didn't know they served lunch that's interesting yeah, i'm do. here for breakfast though are you uh, we like literally <laughs> like just got out of bed less than yeah. an hour ago. you probably still hear like my <laughs> nasally morning, voice. morning voice yeah. <laughs> are you ready i'm ready all right if you enjoy the content please like and subscribe Join us for our Christmas breakfast here at Kiki's Breakfast Cafe. It does get pretty packed here, so they do have a lot of benches you can sit out and wait. And they do not take reservations. They're now serving breakfast mimosas, Sam. Bellini, sangrias. Nice. Ready to party. Looks like for this particular location, they only have booth seating. All right, so we have the menu. They have all these different omelets that you can get. Um, they have pancakes waffles you can get them both florida style and they have all these different flavors right here at the center you can also get your french toast in those flavors and, stuff. and you yes stuffed french toast you can create your own combo they have these bowls over here and but what i'm looking at is the eggs benedict and of course you can always add coffee if you guys want to see the lunch menu it is on the back here pretty standard interesting stuff all right, so you know Sam is starting off with a coffee. This is their iced coffee, right, Sam? Yes, it is a big cup. I appreciate the glass. Yes, yeah, a lot of ice, though. They did have um, some French vanilla creamer, so I put one in. It's okay. It does taste watered down. Yeah, I figure all the ice is going to water that down. I give it a, I give it a five. Okay. All right, so we got our first breakfast entrees. I got the Eggs Benedict, and Sam, you got the fajita omelet, right? Yeah, so it has seasoned chicken breast, green peppers, onions, cheddar cheese, and salsa, and they um, fresh grate their cheese. They don't use any pre-shredded cheese in their food. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. The yeah, fries look really good, and I also got some wheat toast. It's all buttered up nice, and salsa little orange garnish. Yeah, it gives you a little citrus flavor. The flavors of Florida. This is a Florida-based establishment. We have some extra protein since we're gonna have the waffle. Oh, so there's chicken on top and there's chicken on the inside. We're getting, we obviously gotta get a waffle. We'll be trying some of their signature sweet flavors as well. It's definitely stuffed, this omelet. It's looks really good. The chicken has a nice seasoning. It's, it's very juicy cheesy the eggs just taste super fresh and fluffy I like the crunch from the peppers it's really good the whole fries look really good 
Yeah, those are definitely whole potatoes, those home fries that are like chopped up. I'm gonna give this an eight. And it's like, it's filled. Yeah, this, uh, this place is high quality. It's like a high quality breakfast. This is a very good omelet. All right, so this is their Eggs Benedict. Pretty self-explanatory hollandaise sauce. Put a little paprika right there on top. Obviously, they have the English muffin, fresh made home fries. So uh, let's see how this breaks open. That's been sitting for just a little bit. Ooh, look at that goo, Sam. It's got the uh, bacon on it, the Canadian bacon, which we like to call ham here in the States. Oh, this one just fell apart. I deconstructed my... Oh, okay, got a little bit of everything on there. After the omelet, I mean the eggs benedict I had in Dollywood, I can't get eggs benedict anywhere else because that one was too good. It's not Dollywood eggs benedict level, um, but it's very good eggs benedict. I like the paprika a lot on, on, on top a lot. And what's really good about eggs benedict is when it just melts into the muffin, the English muffin. Let me try the home fries, Sam. You said you like them a lot, right? Yeah. Are they buttery at all? They look like uh, they got some type of like, olive oil or something on them. Mm. Good. I like home fries that are like the whole potato. I like the hidden paprika. It doesn't change the game. Like it's a, it's definitely a standard eggs benedict, but it's a good eggs benedict. Well prepared, well made, and the paprika adds a signature hint. Um, I'll give this a, a seven. I think it's really good. I would definitely recommend it. All right, so breakfast dessert is served. I get the blueberry pancakes. There are blueberries actually underneath this let's take a look yeah so you see like they're in the pancake down there yeah and they're fresh blueberries i think their fruit their fruit uh delivered every day yes so it's locally sourced floridian fruit the pancakes are award-winning according to the menu and sam you got this very fluffy very delicious looking waffle yes very crispy now this is what they originally had opened with they were a type of a waffle establishment a house of waffles some would consider i did want to bring up as well i do enjoy the decor in here it is very minimalistic with a lot of brown accents and tones and uh, they have um some artwork on the wall paintings of different types of fruits and breakfast items and the, the chocolate chips are hershey's chocolate chips oh, nice we miss hershey yes i think maybe in 2024 we're gonna aim to go back to hershey Hopefully, yeah, we would love to get back there. We found that there's an airport here that can actually bring us over. Hmm. The outside is so crispy, but the inside is still nice and soft and fluffy. And the chips are baked in and they're on top. It's a good waffle. It's not my favorite waffle in the world. It's a, this is Belgian style. There are a lot of good waffles around these parts, you know? A lot of houses of waffles around these parts. But yeah, waffles is, is, a, is a softer. Waffle. Yeah, well, they're not Belgian style. This is a Belgian style waffle, which is what you want. You want a crispy like exterior. Like nozzle, it was like so you're not just like dumping it on. It's good. I would give it a seven. Definitely high quality waffle. So these are the blueberry waffles. On the menu, it says that these are award winning. Um, I want to try just the not the waffles, the pancakes. <laughs> so these are award winning. Oh, look at that, Sam. It's they are baked right in. You can see. And that goo popping out. Look at that. Wow. They're like stuffed. This looks good. I forgot that I had whipped cream on. The, I asked for my whipped cream on the side. You do need the whipped cream. The whipped cream adds. Yeah. Let um, me put just a little bit of this whipped butter on it. I want to try it with a little bit of the nozzle right here. It's easier to control. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it is easier to control. I usually just like those IHOP nozzles. That's just it. It just has become syrup with a side of pancake. Okay. See how that is. Mmm. That's really good. Fluffy, crispy on the outside, stuffed with blueberries. That is like a very high quality blueberry pancake. It's my favorite thing I've eaten so far. I would say this and your fajita are my two favorite things so far. I had her feed off camera. Very good. I will give this an eight. That's a super high quality blueberry pancake. All right, so Sam, you had the iced coffee. I'm gonna try the hot coffee. They make everything fresh. Have you ever put butter in your coffee before? No. All right, I'm not gonna do it today, but people do do it. They do That's like a keto thing, isn't it? Yeah. The mug is square. 
which is interesting. Tastes very good. It's like it's better than in Dunkin', I would say, coffee. That's not saying much. <laughs> but it's, you know, not Starbucks quality. This tastes fresh, which is one. It's not burnt. Um, it's a solid coffee. I would say for the hot coffee, I would go like six. I think it's good. And I think it complements the sweet flavors very well. And so ends a great Christmas breakfast. All right, so that does it for our time having a Christmas breakfast here at Kiki's Breakfast Cafe, right down 192, right next to Walt Disney World. We have gone to one of these previously. Uh, we actually went to the one in Orlando years back before we started filming, influenced by Tim and Jen Tracker to actually come here originally. Uh, what do you think, Sam? Did it live up to our expectations or our last visit? It did. And yeah. this is pretty close to our house. I think we're going to be frequenting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty close to where we live. If you're staying at the Margaritaville Resort, all you gotta do is like walk across 192. It's right here. It's right next to um, an Outback State ha Steakhouse. Uh, it's Texas right Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Yeah, so there's yeah, a lot everything. going on over Lazy here. Lazy Dog, which is another place that's new that we want to do a video on. Yeah. We want to. It is dog friendly, and we want to take Frank. That was our intention, yeah. but. It's very crazy around food, so we don't we don't know how. <laughs> yeah, we've been iffy about bringing him there. We don't know if we're going to do it with him or without him, but we'll figure that out. Uh, you guys, let us know what your favorite Disney breakfast options are in the comments below. We love to hear from you. We love to hear your thoughts, and if you think that what we had looks like a bit higher quality than what you can usually get over at Disney, I know it's probably not top uh, like uh, terrace breakfast level, but it's definitely I think, not, higher than the standard. They're not Mickey shaped fare. waffles, but yeah. I really liked my omelet. I felt like I was eating like. A chicken fajita. It did. Like, it, it was. A lot of it was. Flavor. It was a very big size. I, we had a whole lot of leftovers. Yeah. So and it did come. It did come to fifty nine dollars. But granted, we got enough food for we four people. Four things. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite thing that we ate? Definitely an omelet. For me, it's the pancake. I think your omelet was my favorite Your pancake too. was good. Yeah. yeah. And I like how they have so many different toppings for the pancakes, waffles, and French toast. Yeah. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. I think the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. Just so you guys can see what we're talking about, there's Kiki's way back over there. That's where we just were. And then this is kind of like the shopping centers. There's a Burlington, a Marshalls. They, of course, have that Disney gift store they have everywhere over here on 192. And then right here is Portillo's. And then right next to Portillo's is the Lazy Dog. And they even have a dog menu. Yeah. I really want to bring Frank, but I don't think he'll like, be a good boy. I think he's going to get kicked out. He, he, yeah, when he sees food, he just starts yelling. He's right there, there's the... Right there is the Texas Roadhouse too. So let us know if you think we should try to bring Frank here in I the think comments. Was gonna vote yes. <laughs> you don't know if Frank, Frank is very he's a very demanding boy. Mm -hmm.